Welcome to our BioTrack THC instructional video series. This is BioTrack Basics, creating a new product. So I just received in some products from one of our vendors. You can see in my bulk inventory, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six products. Um, and you can see the first four of these have um, a brand name and they sort of follow the same format. These last two down here look a little different. Um, both the name of the product doesn't match and the category doesn't really match our system. So these are the two that we're gonna be updating. To update these product templates, we're gonna start in our inventory shortcuts and we're gonna click products because we wanna update the product template. Now in the existing product field, I'm gonna start typing the name of the product template I wanna update. So in this case, we'll start with the Super Lemon Haze. So started typing it, comes right up. So I click on it and you'll see that most of the fields get filled out for me. We're gonna ignore the strain and the type and we're come, come down to the name. I'm gonna select all and delete and then I'm gonna start typing um, the way that it needs to look for our system. So there's the manufacturer or um, brand code, the weight, that it's a pre-roll, that it's Keef infused, and then the strain. Okay, and then the category is gonna be pre-rolls infused. Tax category for medical patients is tax exempt. Tax category for our rec customers is cannabis tax. Medical label and recreational label are fine to leave as default. The vendor is Rooster Production, so I'm selecting that. Again, if you have your invoice in front of you, you can go ahead and enter your cost per unit. I don't, so I'm gonna leave it blank. Then on your options tab, you wanna make sure requires inventory and marijuana are checked. The usable amount for this is gonna be one because it's a one gram pre-roll. And then because it is a pre-roll, I like to go ahead and fill this out. So on our miscellaneous tab, the manufacturer is Rooster Production and the producer is also Rooster Production. That way, if we're printing our compliance labels at any point, um, all of our information prints out accurately since we've updated the manufacturer and producer on the individual product template. Then we're gonna come down to our price point table and we're gonna go ahead and add this in. One, uh, let's just say $20. I have no idea how much we're actually gonna be selling this for, but we just need a number right now. Click OK, and then price point table rec, add again per one. We're gonna enter in $20 in our pre-excise field. It's gonna tabulate our price, including excise and our post-tax amount. OK, go ahead and hit save. Now we can move on to the next product we need to update. Um, so that in this case would be this wedding cake, same thing. I'll start typing wedding cake, click on it. Our name comes up. We're gonna change this name to Rooster. And then this is Moon Rocks wedding cake. Our category is flower infused. Our tax category is tax exempt. Tax category for rec is cannabis tax. Our vendor again is rooster. I don't have the cost. I'm gonna come over here. Requires inventory marijuana. Usable amount is the 1.25 because this is a weighable product. Price point table, uh, let's just say $35. 
add one $35 in the pre-excise amount. Click OK. One. OK. We are all set, so we're going to go ahead and click Save. And you can always come in and update things um, as far as if you get your costs later on or if you need to do a price change. Thank you for watching our video, Biotrack Basics, creating a new product for cannabis products. Please check out our other videos in this series.